Hey guys, what's good? Mike here, Laker Talk. Let's talk Laker basketball. I want to talk about the rookie we just signed, Savi Mikailu or Mikalu, however you want to pronounce it. One, somebody said he pronounces it Mikalu, but the announcer pronounces it Mikailu. So I like Mikailu. So let's call him Savi Mikailu until otherwise. Anyway, we signed Savi to a three year deal. Love that deal. We have that third year uh, team option, which is nice. Meaning, like, if he develops, we get to keep him on that nice contract. If he doesn't, we get to deny that deal and set him walking. Anyway, we'll talk about him, and I want to talk about Josh Hart. Love what I'm seeing out of Josh Hart. The kid is developing. I love. I'm starting to love four-year players. I mean, these four-year we like these these two rookies we got. They seem ready to contribute. Josh Hart is like. It feels like he's been in the league for like six years how well he's developing and he's bowling right now in summer league and um, i love the fact that he's getting his game up in summer league obviously it's summer league so he's going against a lot of guys that won't make the league but he's been doing this since the second half of last year so we know it's not a fluke he was putting up 10 and 10 last year in the second half against nba competition and he's only improving that through summer league you can tell his shots his shot is developing. His his ball handling is, is improved. I mean, his his overall. I mean, he's getting stronger. He's more dominant and and more trustworthy of his jump shot. And his jump shot, he's shooting it at a high clip. I just love seeing what I'm seeing out of Josh Hart. We'll talk about him in a second. But anyway, let's talk about wait. So just on the free agent front, we haven't signed anybody. Uh, Carmelo's out the picture. I think uh, the I think OKC okay, haven't haven't uh, released him yet but they're giving him chance to talk to the rockets i see him going to the rockets because he can start there um obviously the rockets haven't signed clinton capella yet because i think they're trying to wait to see what they can get out of carmelo and they got that issue there so i think a lot of laker fans will be happy a lot of folks who don't really want carmelo on the squad i was saying that i would i would gladly take carmelo on the squad but i think he's going to the rockets there are some rumblings about Dwayne Wade. Now, Dwayne Wade, obviously we would all say, no, we don't need Dwayne Wade, but Dwayne Wade is someone at the end of his career that is possibly going to take that veteran $1 million deal. I, I, th I don't even know how much money we have left. And if he did come, Dwayne Wade is a guy that's already accustomed to sitting on the bench over the last few years. And so if Dwayne Wade did come and want to play with... Um, with LeBron, it would almost be like Dwayne Wade on the bench in a in a bench row, and that would only go well for our young guys. If you think about it, he would mesh well with LeBron. He's in LA. They're both having fun, and they're teaching our young core how to play. And when push comes to shove, if Dwayne Wade needs to give us, you know, six minutes of of uh, you know quality, you know, championship, um, you know, minutes. He's willing to do that, as we've seen. He can do that last year. Now, he can't go 30 minutes or anything like that, but we can give him, like, you know, 12 minutes here and there, and that might work. So, if Dwayne Wade came to the Lakers, I'm open to that. Anyway, let's bring Kobe out of retirement. Let's see them ball up. But, um, so, to be determined, I don't know if Dwayne Wade's coming, but if not, I honestly don't know if we're signing anybody at this point. Um, we seem like we have 13 players. I know we can have uh, 15 which two with, with with two players being deactivated, both going you know in and out of the G League and things like that. So we'll see uh, to be determined. Um, but we signed V uh, to a deal. Um, that's one person who I think is going to get some run. But you're going to see him in and out between the G League and uh, uh, getting some minutes in the NBA. Um, but he's somebody that you can tell that we all wanted him to get locked up because he has things you can't teach. He has the height. He has the quickness. He has the athleticism. I mean, he can put the ball on the floor and he can finish at the rim as we've seen. He displayed that in summer league. And he uh, is a three-year player, so he's ready to play. He's been playing very young overseas in, in, in Ukraine. Um, and he seems ready to ball. The other thing is, obviously, he has the jump shot, the wet jump shot that he's had since he was a baby. And that's something that you can't teach. His form and all that stuff. A lot of the players that come into the league at this point, they either have that that form, they have the fundamental jump shot, or they don't. Sometimes you can develop that, but most of the time it's like either hit or miss, right? He has it. 
I was saying on my Instagram that, man, we need to throw everything at him and have him develop. Take his as asset, his skill set right now, which is an asset, 6'8", can run, can finish quick, and can shoot the lights out. Do whatever we can to teach him what Clay Thompson did. Do whatever we can to teach him what made like those big shooting the big shooters good, like the um, Reggie Reggie Millers and whatever. We need to bring in guys and throw all our developmental guys at him and like just put in the work because he's somebody. If he gets the confidence and he knows that we need to, him to contribute and he's active on the squad and he's getting plays ran for him and coming off curls and all that stuff, he's a guy that we can use. Um, and um, definitely with our veterans that we have now and, and, and the, the way our team is going, we can definitely use him. Anyway, so shout out to the Lakers for signing him. Love that deal, three-year deal. Now, Josh Hart, love what I'm seeing out of Josh Hart, as I mentioned earlier. Josh Hart is hooping, um, and this is somebody that we don't really count on. We talk young core. We're talking Kuzma, Lonzo, Brandon Ingram, and so forth, and we got all the other players. We got Ron, you know, Rondo. We're talking uh, Lance Stevenson, Javel. Josh Hart is somebody that we're just sleeping on, but look at how he's developing. I love, I'm starting to love four-year players now out of college because now he looks like somebody that's going to fight for minutes. He's almost, like, he, he's, he's almost better uh, than Lance Stevenson and so so you can see or he's trying to fight for minutes I'm thinking over over KCP but um, outside of that you just look at what how he's developing um, and, and the guys we got starting um, man we have a deep bench so I, I'm just ecstatic and, and really excited to see Josh Hart develop and I love the fact that he wanted to play summer league and it just goes well for us and his game I think coming into next year playing with Braun He's only going to be better and get better as the season goes on. He looks stronger. His jump shot is falling. He looks more confident taking the jump shot. It looks wet. He's shooting at a high, high clip. Um, I can't say enough about Josh Hart. I know it's summer league, but as he proved it last year, second half of the year, he proved that this is not a fluke. So anyway, I'm uh, excited and happy what I'm seeing right now. Signing uh, Svi, I think he's going to develop in something good. Um, just don't know who else we're going after, if we have any more money, if Dwayne Wade's coming or not, to be determined. Anyway, hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing. As always, thanks for following me on YouTube. Uh, follow me on Twitter at MikeSportsLA and Instagram at MikeSportsLA. And subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification. Join the notification squad. I'll holla at you guys. Peace.